Quick tips for using Sage2 user client. The Sage2 user client is a web page. For full functionality, please install the Chrome extension. Search for the Sage2 screen capture extension in the Chrome web store. Join our Sage wall by accessing the wall's URL with the Chrome browser. The layout in the main portion of the user client represents the display sizes and position in the physical wall. Thumbnails you see represent items on the wall. Add an image, PDF, or video to the wall by dragging them from your computer to the wall representation in the browser. Dragging these representations will reposition them on the wall. A double click will toggle between a large size and a small size. Finally, scrolling with your mouse hovering over a window will resize it. Enter Sage 2 pointer mode by clicking on the icon in the toolbar and exit that mode by clicking Escape. You will not see your mouse cursor on your computer whilst in Sage 2 pointer mode. All participants across this session will be able to see your Sage 2 pointer while in that mode. Change the color and label of your pointer from the View Settings menu. While in Sage 2 pointer mode, you can toggle between Window Interaction and Application Interaction using Shift and Tab. You will see that the Window Interaction mode has a plus sign next to the pointer. While in Window Interaction mode, you can use the left mouse button to move or resize the window on the wall. Some Sage apps have widgets. Right click will show its widget. While in Application mode, you can use your Sage 2 pointer to click on links or widget buttons, zoom in and out, and use keyboard shortcuts, such as clicking spacebar to play a video. At the top of your wall are names of connected Sage sites. Red labels indicate that the site is offline, and green labels indicate that the site is online. You can share anything on the wall with a remote site by dragging it onto a green label at the top of the wall, or by right-clicking the window you want to share in the user client, selecting Share With, and the name of the remote site. Every image, PDF, or video file on the wall can be downloaded by right-clicking on its icon in the user client and selecting Download. The media browser icon in the toolbar toggles the media browser view on and off. Every media file dragged onto the wall is stored in the media browser and can be downloaded or opened directly from there. There is also the option to delete. Folders in the media browser help you find files by their type. You can also use the search box. You can also restore a past session from the media browser under the Sessions folder. Use File Save the Session to create a session file that can be opened at a later time. You can organize the wall from your user client by clicking View Tile Content. You can clear the wall with View Clear Display. To share content from your computer, click on the screen sharing icon. You can choose if you want to share your whole screen, a specific application window, or a Chrome tab. Many people can share their screens at the same time. You can close a window by using the keyboard delete button while hovering over a window in your user client from the right-click menu or by using the close window button in Sage 2 pointer mode. The PDF viewer has buttons on the bottom. The arrows flip to the next or previous pages. In the user client mode, you can use the keyboard arrow keys to control page flipping. Keyboard up and down arrows will go to the first or last page of the PDF. You can also spread multiple pages of a PDF side by side to take better advantage of a large display wall. Click the plus button on the app to show one more page, and minus to show one less using the Sage 2 pointer, or the keyboard plus and minus keys in the user client. Videos dragged to the wall can also be controlled through the app widget in pointer mode. This widget is draggable, so as not to block the video. Note that many of these actions are available from the right-click menu on the window. Sage 2 has a built-in web browser. Copy the URL you would like to open, click on the browser icon, and paste it into the URL field. This way you can open YouTube videos directly on the wall. Enter Sage 2 pointer mode to click on links in the web page. You can use the search field in the browser app to open a Google search window. You can change the zoom level on a browser window by pressing on Alt and arrow up or arrow down while in user client mode. You can use a web-based conferencing tool such as appear.in in this browser app to communicate with remote colleagues. You can attach a post-it note using the quick note icon. Simply select the color, enter text to the text box, and post it. You can resize it to make the font bigger. 
you can create a doodle with the Doodle app, launched from the Doodle icon. Here you can change the color of your pen and its thickness. The Sage 2 is a collaborative and democratic work environment, so every person participating in a session can control, share, and edit items on the wall. For example, after a note or a doodle are posted, other people can right-click these items and edit them. The App Launcher icon will open a view with many additional applications. Google Maps is an application from the App Launcher. If you right-click it from the user client, you can enter an address to find and control the zoom level. You can also control it in pointer mode. Sage 2 can recognize many voice commands. Click and hold your mouse until you see the blue ear icon and say a command such as web search for collaborative work. You can find the full list of voice commands in the sage2.sagecommands.org website. You can disable voice commands from the menu bar services disable voice recognition. Go to the Sage2 website for more information.